Right, so, so far so good. This game kind of reminds me of Until Dawn. It's a um, pretty interesting game. Let's hope the story is going to be good as well. And hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes last time. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. I think those pirate like guys will probably time. come back. Oh, shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Let's just be serious for once. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Jesus, more drama? Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, if the fires don't deter me. Pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh. I love you, Alex. So sweet. You know where everybody is? I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Oops, interrupted. Just say nothing, come on. Just let it be. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You alright? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. How do you think the day went? Other than our little tight tight with huh. the locals? Pretty good. Okay, here People we go. what I think it is? Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Something will definitely happen soon. <laughs> You'll get no resistance. It's too quiet for this kind of a game. Alright everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? 
Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? There was more down there. We didn't see it. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. You shouldn't have taken anything from the wreck. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about Spooky. much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Key of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, He's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. It's hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Cool story, bro. You have me going. Pretty cool. It was a bit cringy. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. And someone is watching them. Oh. Or not. Is it, is it finally showtime? Ah. 
Ibanez. Damn, that's one that that is one ugly motherfucker. Okay, I'll go with the guy. <laughs> try to free everyone and see what's gonna happen now. Julia, you okay? I think so. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God maybe. Conrad, great. Don't say. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Untie first. Hey guys, we gotta get untied. Right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's not good. Come on. Oh. <laughs> ah! Fuck her. Oh. I'll be back for you later. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Maybe I should have investigated first. What do you fuckers want? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow 
down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with it later. Pretend nothing happened. My brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Speaking of which, I completely forgot about the guy. Watch where he is. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Happened? Tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Okay, so all of the all of this has been organized then. Because remember at the beginning they said that these two guys are loaded. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Serious? Boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. They're too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. Is this how they're gonna get <sighs> Good call. I'll to go the ghost through ship. the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Supposed to be on the eighth. Conrad, just get to the boat. <sighs> just keep calm. Escape, escape, escape. You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat 
right now. Get up my damn boat! That didn't go well. Junker. 